I switched to my little camera because it's really cold. Yeah, I am just walking around at seashore looking at all the stuff they got laying, sitting around. And uh, I know they got a couple of bullets and stuff. I'm not taking pictures of everything. If anything, I can grab them from the video if you guys want. I'm only going to get pictures of stuff I really, really want. Because there's just so much stuff here. They have over 200 cars. And I believe only a handful are really operating while we're up here. But like, I'm definitely going to go ring that bell and get a video of it tomorrow. Probably going to get yelled at. But it's been too fast. So. I believe these are New York cars. They have a New York... I've ridden some of the older vintage stuff a couple of years ago up in New York, I think. Yeah, City of New York. I thought they were New York. You can see it right here. So that, I mean, it's cool that they have them, but this one's being worked on, it looks like. At least was. And like, there's just so much stuff around here. It's not good anymore. If there's even anything left of it, but I'm not gonna go check. This is the one I really want to see. This one's cool. And yes, they, they do have a pole on them. So they did intend to win them at one point or the other. The reason why I said I'll do this tomorrow is because I'm going to get my tripod and actually bring it with me. I'm going to set my tripod up and just climb up on there. If it even still moves. I'm not going to risk it right now. I'm not going to do it and get in trouble for not even accomplishing my goals. I can't even speak because it's so cold. And now I don't know the car bonds and stuff. So it just really isn't going to be that like detailed but at least you'll get a good understanding of what these guys have and that is a CLRV from Toronto don't ask me about the buses that's not why I came over here and that is one way to build a track that's uh very interesting let's see Oh, so it's just two pieces of angle iron spiked down. That's kind of nifty idea. Sadly, it looks like one of the windows went busted out. But yeah, I have videos of these operating in Toronto. So this is probably the saddest thing I've seen so far. I just, I hate seeing any type of old wooden rail cars. Especially one with a cat or a steeple in it. Some type of caboose or anything. I just hate seeing them just let to go to race. I love my cabooses and they even have a couple like really old speedos over there with what remains of a trolley pole on top of the one roof that's caving in. So it's really sad. Especially that. you can see the old seat up there and old cabinets and whatnot. I'm not trying to touch it because it's like barely on the frame. You can see there's a ladder for it. Probably used to be on this end. That sucks. Like really, really bad. Kind of want the, kind of want the ladder, not gonna lie. One of us walking down to one of the many, many cut lines. We know all about that too. We know about that too. These seats are really, really nice, actually. Why is it three? 
Oh, one was for the fair weather store, and then one was for each end of the conductor. And and it, I have seen my videos from the Connecticut Museum. This car will look really, really familiar. It's an open air car, and PCM also has one. This is still inside that one building. It's closed off. That is kind of an ugly green, but this is a single trucker. I don't know what that symbol is. I'm trying to find an information card, but I do not see one as they are walking on it. Specs for it. Okay, well, it's not from here. Because that is. I won't probably say it's probably Japanese based on the. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Steve and Rob, feel free to share your information and answer questions, and everyone's welcome to walk around. And we, we do ask, obviously, that you avoid the opening, uh, but you can. I guess we could get the ladder back uh, <laughs> if you want to go in. But <laughs> hey, but they they love empty pits. <laughs> Trying to clean this up, they've seen in a while. So all right, I'll stop walking and turn over to Rob and Steve. <laughs> yes. So this, this structure is a, specifically it's a Butler building, which is uh, one of the oldest manufactured with pre-engineered uh, metal building systems. Uh, when you go with a Butler system, it, it, it is a design-build contract. So there is a, an authorized Butler installer in Maine, and uh, we chose to go that route, the design-build route, versus uh, conventional architecture and you know, structural engineer. And we had to, uh, separately from Sheridan, who was the contractor, we had to hire the civil engineer and geotechnical to do the um, subsurface conditions. But you know, Sheridan, as the contractor, um, 
was the architect and engineer. So they developed the plan both structurally and you know architecturally such as it is. So here we are at Seashore. You can see the very famous little towel that is always on Facebook. Man, I would take pictures and actually do like post it so you guys can actually read more of it. I have so much I want to film. I'm just going to be kind of going through some of this stuff quickly. So we are currently walking up to one of the other car bounds. And uh, we're going to see some interesting pieces of equipment as we walk up there. I have you guys on my gimbal without the mic, so if the audio is different, that's why. But this will just make it easier with walking through all this mud and whatnot. And you can see that was a building we were in yesterday. There is the parts warehouse, which I would ask to go in there, but guys let's be honest it's a museum we all pretty much have the same parts and whatnot um a lot of us have very similar cars built by the same people so that's mainly all stuff you guys have seen before now if you look up right now this is trackless rail it's not in service um they were talking about taking it down and we put it back up I'm putting it back in service, which will be really cool. It will be a really nice loop. And, uh, yeah. So these were the Boeing calls that were tested. I know they did not do that good. If you guys want more information on each car, it's all on Seashore's website. I'm just giving you a brief little overview. Feel free to pause the video and read as we are about to walk inside. So, here's a little view of the trucks. The, the truck, the wheels don't look that long. And the brake shoes are actually in really good condition. But the question is, does it move? Don't believe it does. So they have a sock front in here. You come back again. A model. Here's a little information things. I'm taking pictures of all of them so you guys will be able to see them. Including if you want to pause the video of course. Hi. Hi. Are you filming? Yes. Oh, okay. You guys are fine though. No promises. There's a dolphin trunk. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I thought it beeped. I was about to say. But here's a cab, and yes, I'm just kind of doing this. So. You guys have seen this design from some of my other videos. That is a dead man. So it has to be twisted like that as you take power, which it won't move, of course. But as soon as you let go, it would put the car into emergency. And the good thing about having you guys on 
my gimbal. The battery lasts a lot longer, so it's a lot less stressful when I'm just walking around, you know, showing you guys stuff. That's a speed sensor. I'm going to send a picture of these trucks to one of my buddies. So this is really cool. They have a description of each truck. Sorry if the video is a little bit off. And then they have, um, you know, over here, the number of it so you guys can see like what kind of truck it is and the difference and the updates and all the stuff like that so that's really cool that is a really good idea that i'm going to definitely take back from here and take it to baltimore if you guys look these are the boss and pcc trucks that i stripped um these are not oh yes they are they are air cars so we took all this wait you guys can't see there you go. We took all this off, took the drive shaft out, got the motors out, and they've done the smart thing by covering the motor leads on it. So, and that is a. So that is the same P coming back to go to the semi. So this is a crew that's going back there apparently. That's a T subway car. Another subway car from the T. You can see the tall wheel. Shackers over. That's definitely another PCC. Boston, you can tell from the trucks, I think. There's a bunch of um, buses, don't know nothing about. You can see all overhead wire pipe for a bus loop. So we're gonna walk up past uh, Ocean Avenue car and back here this car will look familiar for those who have watched my videos from PTM Center Door car and they'll of course information on it There's a quick view of the inside. We are currently marching back to go look at the semi. Here's another Connecticut open air car. And that this cool, this cool observation car with the step up deck in it, as you can see, is not from here. It's from the UK. I get a picture from my friend in the UK. Just like this cool thing, we will come back and walk into some of the cooler ones after we go see the semi. Because that is my main goal. Like I said, this, this was a first museum in the country. So they got the luxury of having a lot of first dibs and collecting a lot more than the rest of us because they're so much older. And they got a chance to get these cars. And a lot of us really want them to go back to the home museums or cities. So we walked out the back of the car barn so we can continue back to the other one. Museum members only. But luckily, we've all signed a waiver and we have an escort. So this is part of the property most people aren't able to see. With all these buses. You know, fronts falling off of them like the one front bus. There was literally tons of them. And uh, it's very sad, even with the buses for me, but I'm not a bus person. So we are going to just walk by them 
and uh, a mile of them in the state. And hopefully one day a lot of these can be saved or go to a good home. I would love to take that seat. <laughs> some overhead parts. These are new insulators. These are not original. They don't use original insulators on the line. These are more of the original type. This is kind of like what we use. And of course that is a insulator and a bunch of other overhead parts. That's the track what vehicle. I'm letting them go in and look at everything. And as you can see, up the side here, it's just PCC, after PCC, after PCC. Now, as you guys know from me doing truck work so much, Boston cars did not have the resilient wheels. They had solid wheels. So, that, the trucks don't match at all. So, this is like... Just nothing more PCCs. I'm not going to keep walking up. They're all wrapped. So. This is what it looks like on the inside. Let's weasel our way up front and look at the um, operator seat. Wow. Well, you know, the saying of pedals. Shield. The heaters are not in it, and I can't read any of the gongs or anything. And, uh, ouch. This is a plate for it. Front door, MG, fair register, car lights. I don't know if that's supposed to be blue or if that's how it's uh, deteriorated. But, a really sad shape of uh boston pcc okay, so we are now going to walk in here most of the people have walked in um as you can see it's buses on this side we are focused on this side and as you can see the ties down here are just cut up poles pieces of wood really anything they could get their hands on at this time the building was only designed to be up for 10 years about that's another bus this is another a crane from the T so we are done seeing our car there's a separate video on that I'm going I'm going to keep walking out the front and just get a glimpse of what Seashore has. Like I said, this is not like a very detailed video. We are just walking through, getting some shots, getting some pictures. Look how good this, this car was restored slightly. That's not connected to anything. Um, I'm assuming that's an air brake, crawl back or saying okay control. Sorry, it took me a minute to get off the car. So you can see, I'm not gonna go out this, that way. I'm gonna shimmy over to here. And we're gonna take a little quick peek back here. So here's like, I don't know what, this is a Cedar Rapids car. Like... Here's one with the doors open. We'll take a little peek in here. This looks like a, an urban car with smoking sections. Probably smoke in the middle, no smoking on the ends. Municipal code, fair register. 
door still works. And uh, I'm not sure if I have to get a, see if I can get a name of what this car was on the outside. I don't see a name for this car, what city it was or anything. This is Trainway, so I believe this is from Europe with the design of it. Yes. And it has that European feel to it. Um, and there is a different language on by the operator, so that's usually another good sign of where the car actually came from. If anyone speaks any other language and know what language that is for exit, please let me know in the comments below. And as you can see, there is a do not operate tag on this car, which I'm not really sure because clearly not so on there. This is a Boston single truck car number 24, which um, is missing some parts. This is, it looks like a, I know it's an open air car and all, but like where it came from and all. This is from the UK. So there's a better one in the other bomb like this, but now I'll take pictures off. Um, but up here, we can just get a little view of like, what's in here? What, what is seashore collection? What exactly is in okay condition and what is it? That is the rest of the car bomb. We're not walking through everything, like I said. This is a very um, basic overview of what they have. This car, again, is from the UK, probably from London, or somewhere around London, with the way it's designed. People in Europe tend to be a little bit smaller than people from the United States nowadays. Even though we all came from there one way or the other. So, keep going, going along. This is a United States mail ra railway post call. Sorry, my camera wasn't pointed up at that. This is from York Beach, Maine, 1904 to 1949, number 108. I'm trying to, there's so much here guys, it's, it really is hard to get a grasp of um, what they have. Because like I've said, you know, plenty of times, probably throughout this video, I'm not sure how I'm breaking this up, but they have at around 200 cars. So this is um, a view that not many people get. Let's see if the door still works. No, it does not. So over here you can see a whole stack of PCC motors, self and non-self ventilated, which are always good to have. It's not very good to have them in moist weather like this, because as you can see in the video, the ground's still mostly mud. Um, we were actually told to wear boots to come back here. But here is, try to get a quick shot of this. There was a car like this we stole. I'll give you a quick view of the trucks as I walk past. And there is a Pittsburgh PCC. Hi. Dining car ran in 1963, frequently coupled. I'm listening to a little conversation. Um, there is a very unique car over there we are going to go see. This car, this is a North Shore Line car. Um, Third Avenue Railway Systems. And this is actually in not great shape, but fairly restored.
Okay. There's another ball from PCC. Just so much stuff. This is one car I really want to see back here. I'm not sure what this is. There is a plaque on it, but look at the truck layout and how it's a front, front, uh, flat car. Like the front of the car is flat. Sorry, I got in English for a second. It's from Hungary. So, we're going to walk down the outside and see what's um, down here. Again, this is all stuff that no we don't get to see. And then we will go and look at the good car from the UK. Some nice trucks. Some nice mud. This is a straight wide. You can hear the slosh. And this is a dump pile. You guys probably see my videos from PTM. Where they have a car that's very similar to this. So as you can see, this is a red arrow slash scepter bullet. Rock Hill has one. You guys have probably seen my videos on that. Rock Hill's used to operate. It does not anymore. Um, well, it doesn't right now. They're working on it. And they'll... They're doing a good job on it, so, but yeah, it's just, there's so many calls, there's no way I'm going to be able to go through, I'll walk up and walk across there and see what we see is what we see. Okay, so this is a new building that isn't nearly as bad, you can see more trucks, more motors, um, it's just, crazy. I would love to have some of these extra trucks and stuff. Um, some of them are Broil, which is what mainly we have at Baltimore, other than PCCs. But I mean, like, these. I would love to get upset with these, you know? But now that now I'm here, I can hopefully, uh, talk to some people and, uh, Get some, get some stuff going, and I really, want to know what wheels I have back here. I see more wheels. I got mud all over me. There's just stacks of trucks. So this is what I'm interested in. Um. Yeah, so you see, I don't need gears on them. So these are for older cars that use smaller wheels. I'm not going to go into too much of, of the boring details. These aren't spoke. Spoke wheels are different, kind of like them down there. We have some of them at Baltimore, not too many. I, in my head, from my experience, these type of wheels would be a lot better. These are really worn. You can tell by the flange. Um, the axles. I'm going to go down that way, walk out. Get a picture of this box cowl. That looks 
that looks like a, another bullet, but I could be wrong. I can't really tell, honestly, right now. Um, there's just so much, you know. I don't really want to climb over. This. Okay, there we go. But they just lines, lines. They have a lot of Boston PCCs, and none of them operate, which is really just disappointing. see like this track isn't even visible right now so let's turn around and get a nice look them spoke wheels are interesting um yeah I only I see four actors with wheels that I personally could use there goes the speed or buy What's this? Is this Kansas? This is New Hampshire. New Hampshire. That's probably why they got it, because we walked this way. Of course. I'm sure they, they would have found a mountain. Yeah, that was a mountain. Yeah, I'm going to sleep for life. By the way, your book bag's open now. Straight back. It, so that's from New Hampshire. That's another Boston. That one actually doesn't look too bad, honestly. Like I said, this is stuff that the public does not get to see. And anyone's watching this, do not come back here. Do not try to sneak back here. Um, Seashore does not want anyone back here. We, we are all members. We all do this pretty much for a living. Um, we are all around this type of work and all. So please, if you're watching this and you're from the general public, do not try to sneak back here or anything, okay? Because it's just, it's not worth it. If you want to know more information, you know, reach out to Seashore. Reach out to me and I can get you in, in touch with someone who knows more about everything here than I do. Because this is, not only is it dangerous, it's an insurance hazard for the museum and we don't want anyone getting hurt or anything so please just watch enjoy and uh honestly it's quite better if you don't come back here because you will be sad if you are a real fan or have any interest in uh preserving history like that old box call it's right in front of us but there's another bus that's in fairly con condition. Another one sitting over there. Why it's all the way over there, I have no clue. Kind of seems silly to me, but we're gonna turn around and walk back and uh, try to meet up with the other guys and uh, see what's going on and keep getting some more great videos and all. We are now in one of the modern bounds. Here's another North Shore line. This bound was fixed up and so they have another probably about 40 cars in here. Hold on, we got a picture of that piece. Isn't that the sister car to 6118? Is that 6144? Yes. Now, do you know the difference between them? So 6144, it's not a um, test car, but I believe, I'll have to get the story from Ed. It was, they built it differently. Here's a Montreal and Southern Counties car. Here's a, oh, here's another Scepter. Yeah, that's 2719. Okay, so, they, so this is where you wall. Yeah. Okay. 
I like the uh, the white walls on it. That's that's cool. Okay. We'll let him come out and then go in there and loop around. City Hall. Yeah, I think this one was a Hill. It does it? Wait. <laughs> what? It has an inspection sickle? Yep. It's like a 93. Oh. Yeah, because remember you know, '68, they said that the uh, it would the inspection was going to expire, so they couldn't run it when it did, and it actually expired for like another two years or something. Yeah. Hello. Hi, is it Harry? I think he's over by the near. Jack. <laughs> Moco. <laughs> Marco, I'm trying to find you guys. <laughs> Kakao, <Kukau. Kukau. laughs> Yes, I know I'm crazy, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> what track are you on, Justin? <laughs> what track? Middle track, copy. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> hey, look, that's pretty cool. They got some insulators on the old cross beam. Oh. Uh, telegraph file. Is this a, uh, yeah, I think this is a Chicago Central This? Yeah, it has an SL on it. I got the upper window at IRM. Oh, did you? Yeah. Lucky bastard. <laughs> they couldn't have made this like more difficult to get around, could they? Oh, I found a new York car. What number is this? Oh, I see this next time. Oh, that's not right. The five. No, they didn't have fifties. Right? I'm not crazy. They didn't have any. It was all 20s. Oh, this is number five. Yeah. So this is number five. M MTA. This was uh, Boston. Okay. But this was actually originally from Dallas. It was second hand from Boston. Gotcha. That's actually a good shot with both PCCs right there. Yeah. These were actually nicknamed the Texas Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, this is um, what 26 looked like when we got it. So you can see how much work and all we put into it. There is 6144. Okay, I want to go you. Okay. This is the last. Here are some more cars, and what's really interesting. This is a cable car on PCC trucks. And that's the wire that pulled the cable car. This is from uh, San Francisco. Here is probably the cutest thing they have, a baggage and express car. Number eight from the, don't know how to say it, but the information will be there for all of you to read it. And of course, there is a United States pistol car. So we're gonna keep walking down. This car is fragile. Yeah, yeah. Well, Oxford Village, that's a horse car. 